Funding for this channel is provided by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to video. I'm technically Legally Ally from the future here to introduce you to said video because I have been vlogging for the past multiple weeks since September. I don't know what I have footage wise. That's for future editing me to worry about. Sorry future editing me. But for the past month or so, y'all have been enjoying the pleasures of pre-made content. Meaning no vlog, sit down, strictly book talky videos. Which are great and everything, but I owe you a vlog. It's been a long time. Time. I also owe you a dance party because your girl got migraines when she discovered A Prayer for the Crown Shine, i.e. my favorite book that I've ever read ever as of right now. In what, July or something? August? I don't even remember anymore. And in said vlog I said, if I were feeling better today I would do a dance party. So I definitely owe this series a dance party in the near future. So that's how we're gonna kick off this video. I owe y'all a dance party. I owe this book a dance party. It was so Good! Google it if you want. Get crazy. When's the last time y'all danced to Every Time We Touch by Cascada? That's my question for you. Because by the Zeus does that song slap. Do yourself a favor. Give yourself some free serotonin. We're gonna wiggle and then the video will commence. Break! Your arms are my castle. Your heart is my sky. They wipe away tears that I cry. The good I am so jet lagged. I'm so tired, but that's fine. Life goes on. Today's pretty simple. I have some reading I have to do. I have some Patreon designs to finish up. I am really excited for them. Would you like to see? So this was the design for September. You know her, frog under a leaf, exquisite. But now I am working on the Halloween designs. And so I drew Greg and Wirt from Over the Garden Wall. But if they never left Pottsville and became little pumpkin people. Still have to draw George Washington the frog, but that's happening. Uh, but I won't bore you with the details. What I do want to share with you today are the activities, the errands. Very fall, very autumnal, cute, good. I'm gonna go pick up Babel or Babel. Nobody knows how to pronounce it, now do we? No, by RF Kwong. I already paid for the nice Waterstone special edition with the black sprayed edges and uh, customs denied it. And I am so sad. <laughs> so I reserved a regular regular paperback at a local bookstore. We're gonna go pick that up. That's dark academia, that's fall, right? We're gonna go with it. And then also there were these super we're cute little ghosty mugs at Flying Tiger. So just gonna look at the Halloween stuff. We're doing these silly little tasks to get out of the house because otherwise I would stay inside and sit on my couch and just read because I feel like trash garbage. But I put on some clothes, look at the fit. I drifted these pants in Wisconsin. Look at them, I'm so excited about them. They're technically men's, who cares? This stitch, everything I've ever wanted and more. These pockets, perfect, look at this. Hey, that's it. Aaron, Autumn, Halloween, I'm tired. That was too much movement. Let's do it. Whew, okay. I got her, here she is. I got caught in the rain towards the end as you can see by my glasses. I'm very intrigued to read this one. I'm really not a dark academia gal, but I also said I wasn't a super fantasy gal and then I ate up the poppy war. So I believe that RF Kwong could get me to enjoy any genre. Intimidated, but excited. And then, as promised, ta-da! Ah! How cute are they? Are you kidding me? I got the last one. So this one will go so well with, look, ah! it's time, baby. I am fully prepared to do whatever it takes to ward off the seasonal depression. Be it participating in capitalism and consumerism to the upteenth degree, Wiggling my silly little body, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. But that's it, I stuck to my two things. I got my mug, I got my book, that's all she wrote. Bye! <laughs>
Hello, my friends. How's it going? Happy October. It's October. You know it's October because the designs are done for October. Look at how cute is that? Really excited with how these turned out. This is what it looks like on the phone. Boom. How exciting is that? I finally sat down and did some art for fun. And I made this little guy and posted it on my art page, which has not seen an art in so long. I'm just trying to have a much better balance with life, especially after getting my autism diagnosis. Now I have a better understanding of myself and my limits and my strengths and my weaknesses and all that jazz. For example, I was signed up for the level four Dutch class. Classes were from 6 to 9 p.m., which might not be crazy for a lot of y'all, but for me, 9 p.m is I'm already in bed. My face is washed. I'm done for the day. So the idea of being out and about and learning and having my thinking cap on that late, I just seemed like a recipe for disaster. I'm a very big routine person. So I instead got a Dutch textbook myself for my level, broke it all down because hello, I used to be a tutor. I know what I'm doing. And I made a syllabus. Look, ding. So I broke down the textbook and everything that I'll be doing from now until mid-January, we shall see. So I'm currently reading Het Meisje at the Mandrok, which is the girl who drank the moon, Martin at Nederlands. And I read the first chapter. I have to read three this week to stay on track. And it went okay. I made a list of all the new vocab words and I mostly understood everything. I got the gist. I could write a little breakdown of what I consumed. So really making some great strides out here. I'm also reading right now The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, which is the author who wrote my favorite book of all time, A Psalm for the Wild Built and A Prayer for the Crown Child. So I want to read everything that this author has ever written because I love her writing style, I love her world building, etc. This is like if Firefly the show met the house in the Cerulean Sea, the book, and had a baby. Ding! I'm also reading Autumn. Thank you so much to all the comments who let me know that reading the companion piece first was would be a mistake. I now own all of the season books and companion piece and we'll be devouring all of them with a friend for a really big future project that I'm really excited for. Hello. So that's that. This is what I'm currently reading. Okay, bye. Are you serious? No, what was the point? There's no friendship. We'll find new friends. Exactly with no reason to stay. <laughs> I hate it. I hate everything. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> it's okay. It'll get better. <laughs> I didn't film you blowing out the cat. I was filming out a cat seemed to be looking at me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's why I was filming him. Good morning. It's gonna be a lazy day. I feel it in my bones. <laughs> it is Friday, October 7th, 2022, meaning that yesterday was my 28th birthday. Lawrence and I spent the day in Ghent. We walked 17,000 steps, just putzing around the city, looking at bookshops, looking at all kinds of shops, really. Just soaking in the beautiful fall day. We also went and got some vegan sushi and I felt very fancy. It was delicious. And then I came home and my friends from college came over. Lawrence baked a cake. He had never baked a cake before and it turned out so good. He made everything from scratch, even the buttercream, it was so tasty. And I felt so special and it was just such a nice day. I feel so loved, I feel so understood. So many people were sending me messages and comments yesterday and I'm just truly like slightly overwhelmed <laughs> by how much love there is out there. So here she is, 28. Thought I'd do a little miniature book haul because I got some books gifted to me by my homie and I also found a couple of things. Mouthful of Birds by Samantha Schweblin. I have read Fever Dream by Samantha Schweblin and also her other book, Little Eyes. This is a collection of her short stories. She's an Argentinian author, so these are all translated from Spanish. And I've just had
had such a great time with Shrublin this year. She might be one of my new favorite authors. I am just so impressed with how unique she writes. She also has another book coming out this month, I believe. I don't know if it's available in English immediately. I hope it is because I want to pre-order it. So very excited all things Shrublin. <laughs> and then we went to this little comic book shop and look what I found. I'm so excited. It is so heavy. It's the complete tea dragon collection, the tea dragon society. Okay, so this is the first one. I read this one last year and really, really enjoyed it. But I've been wanting the other two. So the fact that there's a whole box set and just like, look how pretty. Escape to the Enchanting World of the Dragons. I will. I plan to. Look at how cute. Like and it's about <laughs> these little dragons that can make tea. Like this is a chamomile dragon. You take care of them. You can make tea with them. My only complaint with the first one is that I just wanted more. So the fact that there is more. <laughs> so that's what I got for myself yesterday. And then my friend Abel, who got me the first Tea Dragon Society last year, got me Banana Yoshimoto's Kitchen, which is a very little book that I've heard her talk about quite a few times. It's a story of two mothers. One is trans in the 80s. I think that's just such a vulnerable, sweet thing for someone to say, I really liked this book, and I think you will too. Such a great way to connect. I love friendship. And my friend Alex gifted me Giant Days, which is a graphic novel that I've been wanting to read for a hot minute. A lot of you recommended it to me in my graphic novel video, and so I've been intending on giving it a scoop. My favorite thing is that the graphic novel shop didn't have the first one so she got me the second one which means now I have an excuse to get the first one and then I have two right seems good it was just a very nice birthday but since there was so much walking and so much socializing the spoons today non-existent you know what I mean <laughs> what I do want to do today is just read I'm still reading autumn by Ali Smith I would love to finish the long way to a small angry planet I feel like I've been reading this forever a lot of it is going over my head but I'm still enjoying it my bookish friend Alex and I are going to buddy read skim this month which is by the sibling duo who wrote this one summer which is one of my favorite graphic novels of all time so I think I'm gonna read this one today and just relax and eat food and recharge my spoons does that sound nice it does to me morning. Happy Saturday. My sweater says I love hot moms. Don't get twisted. We are currently for my bookshelf because I'd like to make a TBR for this weekend. The first week of October has come and gone and I have not decorated for Halloween nor have I really been reading Halloween specific books. So I would like to make up for some lost time and pick some books out that fit the season. I have finished The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. I liked it enough. It definitely didn't hit as hard as Prayer for the Crown Shy under no circumstances. Um, but she was still nice. It was very character -y which I enjoyed because the sci-fi world building isn't so much my thing. And then last night I also finished Skim wrong. <laughs> Skim. <laughs> Funnily enough, Sally just uploaded a video of reading graphic novels and this was one of them. And much like Sally, I also thought that this one fell a wee bit flat. I know that when I was a teenager, I was very depressed and unlikable, much like our characters here. And so in a very unsettling way, it brought me back to that place. But there was just so much more we could have done with this. We cover some very deep themes that I think needed to be fleshed out a lot more, but it was still okay. And so for this Hollow weekend, I would like to read Bring Shout by P. Jelly Clark, which is our October Pocket Pages book club book. Ah, nice and small. I've heard good things. I know that our protagonists are hunting KKK members, which is great. I would also like to read The Shelf is So Packed. <laughs> Final Girls by Riley Sager. This is the only Riley Sager that I haven't read yet, so there's that. I would also like to read Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry, which is like a cozy lesbian D&D &D coffee shop moment. So that's that as far as novels are concerned. Will I get through all of them? Maybe not, but that's fine. I also really want to read The Tea Dragon Society this weekend. I didn't get around to it yesterday. It took me a while to finish my Becky Chambers book and the other graphic novel, but I just want to have a cozy time with this. So that's what's on the docket for this weekend. I spent this morning going for a quick walk and I really deep cleaned the house. She even mopped. It is sparkling in here. So the setup is perfect. We're going to read. Let's do it.
Hello. I read the first few chapters of Legends and Lattes, so I'm a little past page 50. It is very cozy. It is as cozy as the internet has promised. So far, I've met Viv the Orc, but I don't know who this is, and I want to know because I believe that they will fall in love eventually. I'm excited. For now, let's make some banana bread. And we're back. Did you miss me? Just here to do a quick outro of sorts. A final reading wrap up of the past few weeks, to be honest, because this vlog has been going since September and now we are in the second week of October. What is happening? What is time? A mystery. I finished The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This is part of a four book series. Becky Chambers is the person who wrote my favorite book duology of all time, The Monk and the Robot, which we danced to earlier. Everyone said that this is a book to read if you're not a big sci-fi girly, but you still want that cozy element. You still want Becky Chambers' characters, which like is mostly true. It was definitely a lot more cozy and interesting and accessible than your typical sci-fi in my opinion. Did I like this as much as I thought I would? No, but I also didn't not like it still. You know what I mean? I thought that the characters were very interesting and I still had a good time in this space, but I'm psh, curious to see what the other three books will bring. After that, we did read Skim by Mariko Tamaki and Jillian Tamaki. This is about a teenage girl who is grappling with depression and also an inappropriate relationship there's still a lot of processing I have to do for this one I think mostly because we didn't delve into much of anything look how thin this is you know I think that this one definitely should have been longer if it wanted to touch on the issues it touched on but I still liked it okay it fell a little flat I wouldn't super super recommend it but I also wouldn't discourage you from reading it you know that's my take on that one after that I read Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry in less than 24 hours I loved this one I love this one I love this one I love this one so much so I I have a job for all of you. What is a book that you think is similar to either Legends and Lattes or The Monk and the Robot? Because these are classified as cozy fantasy, which means that we are in these fantastical, natural, nature-y, magic-y spaces, but the stakes are low. I just liked so much that both of these things existed just for the sake of existing. I have so many notes on my phone, I cannot wait to break down all the thoughts and all the feelings and all the books because I have so many, but just know that this was everything I wanted and more, and it's such a perfect time to read this book, Fallen winter. Oh my god, give this one a scoop. And then because I was in such a cozy mood, I didn't pick up Ring Shout, nor did I pick up the other Riley Sager that I had planned for that weekend. Instead, all I did was read the entire Tea Dragon Society Festival Tapestry trilogy and go outside and look at mushrooms. That's all I did. And it was great. I already said this on my online review, but this series comforted parts of me that I didn't realize were still hurting. This soothed parts of my soul that were searching for softness. It was so good. If you like Studio Ghibli, I say give this trilogy a scoop but also if you're interested in reading this one, do not just pick up the first one. That's the mistake that I made last year. You need to read all three. You just gotta. The art is impeccable. The color palettes are out of this world. It was just therapeutic. I felt so good after reading them. This is definitely a trilogy that I can see myself picking up every single year because, oh, I couldn't recommend it enough. This is definitely like my favorite thing that I read this entire video. Thank you for letting me ease back into this whole vlogging thing. Thank you for your patience with that. If vlogs are your favorite thing. A couple of things to keep in mind. The trick or TBR readathon takes place between October 16th and October 30th. My bookish friends Sally and Alex are hosting it. I will be making a vlog partaking in said readathon. And also since we're approaching November, the month long readathon, the Bloomin' Readathon starts soon as well. It is our second year hosting it. I'm so excited. I had so much fun last year. I'll also put links to everything. There's an Instagram
Instagram. I made a YouTube video breaking down the bingo board, all that jazz. It'll be so much fun. Please join us, read with us. Aside from that, your girl still doesn't make any money on AdSense because YouTube won't let me have an AdSense account. So there are ads in this video because I dance to Cascadas every time we touch. But the sole reason that I'm able to make videos as often as I do is because of the kind folks on patreon.com. So thank you to everyone on my Patreon who make all this possible. If you'd like to join there, there's a book club, there's bookmarks, there's downloadables. Give it a peek if you want, no pressure. And as always, thank you for clicking, thank you for caring, and thank you for being nice. I'll see you in the next one, bye.